previously on Dream Team. That's Patrick Doyle. He's a manager of Paris Saint-Germain. I wonder what he's doing here. Good to see you. Oh, you'll, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of me now I'm your new manager. This is the best deal I ever got for you, Dad. And there's more money to be made here if we're smart about it. If we can have a baby. What I want you to understand is that your best option is to work with me, not against me. I want you on my team Monday. You really are quite useless! You're on the transfer list. What, I being so? You're not playing for this club again. Do you wait for game this afternoon? Forget it. You're out. Easy, peasy. Morning, 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 Dan. Morning, Skip. Don't you forget it. Look at that! That's my son, that is. <laughs> Jay, it looks like a frog. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> What's this? Well, that's the head, isn't it? Oh, well, I thought that was the head there. No, no, oh, no. Look, man. the head. Look. Hey. Good morning. Sit down. <sighs> One nil to Leeds. Any comment? That was chaos out there. How Leeds didn't stick six past us, I'll never know. You played as 11 individuals, not as a team. But I can understand that. You have four managers in six months. No stability, no focus. So, that's changed as of now. I'm bringing in a sports psychologist for a couple of days. Oh, man. Oh, what a shrink. I've been there, done that. Yeah, bought the T-shirt. It's about football. This shrink, as you say, Got Paris Saint-Germain so focused, they've been a major force in Europe for the past two years. It'd be faithful, isn't it? <laughs> May I introduce General Mackenzie, PhD. I want a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Want to observe today? Right, out, Governor. Right, back three. Stick on the blue bibs, and the rest of you pair off, and we'll do attack versus defence. Check it out. How close do you feel to your teammates? A, very close. B, fairly close. C, not very close. How about D? I think you're all prats. Yeah, look, which player on the team would you most like to have as your team captain? Well, the infamous Stevie Shaw, of course. <laughs> Listen to this one. When playing, have you ever tried to deliberately injure someone in the heat of the moment? Monday. I think you need to answer that one. Why don't you just get on with that? Teacher's pet. Yeah, well, we're supposed to be doing it seriously, aren't we? It's a load of rubbish, Dad. Come in. You wanted to see me? Yeah. What do you know about transferring a player? Nothing at all. Mm. Well, I think it's about time you learned if you're going to take over this job when I'm gone. Jeff Stein is handling the sale of Andrei Belenov. I think it's time you observed him, maybe got involved. <clears throat> 
You can't avoid dealing with him. He has half the players on his books. I know. It's just he's so slimy. You can handle slimy. It'll be good for you. Chance to prove you're not just a bit of skirt. Thanks for giving me a chance. Are you sure you're up to this so soon after? I'm fine. Honestly. Never felt better. Great. Jeff will be here at one. Uh, oh, excuse me. It's. Oh, you're, you're, you're here, are you, pal? She ain't seen me yet, pal. Oh, you reckon she goes for the walking wounded, do you? Women love an injured man. Fact. And that puts you right. Whoa! Oh, let me just swing my chair around here. A laughing boy. A grand says, I can pull her. No, no, no. no. Come on, if you're going to do it, then I mean proper stakes, man. We'll make it five. Well, count me out and take me. Stevie, um, come on. I'm in. Of course. You've got no chance. She's a psychiatrist. They're all frigid. <laughs> right. Just a quick word while you're all together. The point of me being here is to maximise your potential as individual players and get you working more closely as a team. Usually I'd work with groups to start with, but since we're short of time, I think I'll achieve more working one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> I'll be based in Patrick's office and there'll be a list outside the changing room of who I want to see and when. OK, gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your lunch. <laughs> Maybe she would be gagging for it. <laughs> Don't think so, Linda. What's she supposed to do? Sit and watch me make phone calls? Jeff, I may not last a season. I have a possible murder charge hanging over me. So either you learn to get on with her or you're going to find yourself dealing with some Harvard graduate Sam Irvin will fly in, who probably won't know anything about running a football club. OK. But if she messes up... She won't. She'll just be watching. She won't actually have to do a thing. What are you doing now? Writing a list. A list of what? Clubs. Why those in particular? Well, what does that mean? Look, Claudia, this is really boring. If you want to help, why don't you make some coffee? And some biscuits. Would you round them up for me? My experience half them won't even look at the list, and those that do will probably forget. Yeah, sure. Oh, how mature. <laughs> look, he's not even drawn very well. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny, girls? Nothing much. Do you want to come with me? Nervous, then? As if. No couch, then? Afraid not. <laughs> Pity. Could have had some fun on that. We're not here to have fun. Afraid I had a pretty boring childhood. No traumas, no deaths. Gone with the old man. I'm here to discuss your psychology as a footballer. The only personal problems I'm interested in are those that relate directly to your game. I ain't got a problem with my game. You're a talented player and you work hard. But you don't pass enough. <laughs> it's bad news for the midfield. I do pass. Not to Linton Alexander, you don't. You never look for him on the pitch, and he's a third of your strike force. What are you talking about? I've watched videos of your matches, and I saw it in training today. Rubbish. OK. Let's have a look, shall we? This is a tape of the Leeds game. Do you have to sit there like that? I need to know what you're doing. I'm ringing Panathinaikos, a Greek club. They're in the market for a player, they've got the cash, and they're out of Europe. So go on, then. Thank you. Kalispera Panathinaikos. Uh, ne, ne. Could I speak to Spiros Lignos, please? Is there anyone there who can speak English? I'm Claudia Irving, and I'm going to give you Steins to Harchester United. Αν θα ενδιαφερόταν ο Παναθαναϊκός να αγοράσει τον Όντρα Ιπέλανο. Έχετε το τηλέφωνο μας. Εντάξει,
you still with the assets. He's in a meeting, he'll call you back. Do you know you can speak Greek? My mother was Greek. I speak Spanish, Italian and French too. Glad to see you can do something. That coffee was dire. There you go. Bring that lot. Don't tell them what it's about. Don't say anything. Just ask if someone who can speak English can call me back, OK? Yes, you, Monsieur Stein. See what I mean? You played well together at Charlton. And we're good friends by all accounts. Yeah, so? So, it seems odd you don't work together now. It's just... Uh, he ain't the player he used to be. He ain't got the pace anymore. Why did you leave Charlton? The style of play didn't suit me. You didn't have any kind of falling out with Linton? No. See you there, mate. I've spoken to Rio Sociedad and Olympiacos. Sociedad will call you back, but Olympiacos say they're not buying at the moment. Good. Keep it up. Where are you going? Bit of whining and dining to do. But it's only 3.30 and we've got all of this to get through. Better keep busy then, love. Do you normally work half days? Listen, Claudia, you want to sell players? I'll tell you. Deals are rarely made in boardrooms over stale coffee. They're made in posh restaurants over bottles of champagne. Oh, uh, happy phoning. And don't stay too late, will you? I see you admiring my ball skills. I asked to see you at four. You're late. Well, got an important game coming up, you know, so I thought I'd just put in some extra shooting practice. It's not what you do with the ball that bothers me. It's what you do about getting it. Sorry, I don't follow you. You never run into a space when Stevie Shaw has possession. It's like you know he's not going to pass to you. <sighs> I've spoken to Stevie, so I know why you two don't exactly see eye to eye. Look, he slept with my wife, yeah? I hit him. What do you expect me to do? Exactly. It's affecting your play. We need to talk about it. No, we don't. Gemma! Apparently Monday left ages ago. I see. He's not the type to miss an appointment, is he? Do you want me to call him? No, don't worry. Is he the last? No, Jamie Parker's waiting upstairs. Early, eh? Nice to know some people appreciate me. Excuse me, lady. I believe you got something for me. You just made your first successful pass. Which is more than what you have. We'll speak again tomorrow. Ouch. You're still here. Just got a few more calls to make. Yeah, well, I'm going to get off. Don't work too hard, all right? Linda? Linda, is that you? Looking for Mrs. Block. What is it? What's wrong? I don't know. Just got so scared. Oh. I'm sorry, it's stupid of me. No, I'm not surprised after what you've been through the past couple of weeks. Hey, listen, why don't we go grab a drink? Looks like you could do with one. I feel like such an idiot. I promise you won't tell anyone. I promise. What's the big deal anyway? I'm helping Jeff Stein with uh, Belenov's transfer and translating phoning clubs for him. It's really important I do a good job. Well, maybe I can give you a few tips then. I mean, I am an agent after all. Would you? Who are you calling? Let's see. OK, well, there's no point calling Lazio or Bayern Munich. Belenov's cup tied as far as Europe's concerned, which means he's no use to clubs in UEFA or the Champions League. How much are you expecting to get from? Jeff says between seven and nine. Right. Well, then I wouldn't bother with these ones either. I mean, they've never paid more than five for a striker. Thanks, Taylor. This is great. 
Go on, my son. Not half bad. <laughs> mm. I tell you what, I've got a nice little question for you. You get anywhere with that shrink, yeah? I'm working on it, man. How are you? Translation, she blew him out. <laughs> <laughs> you been there yet? No, I won on the list. I don't know why. Maybe she fancies me. I told you, mate. When you're injured, no one wants to know you. Oh, cheers, love. <laughs> you all wouldn't know, mate. <laughs> now check out the master at work. Well, come on, then. Angelo. Hey, Les, same again, my shout. Don't mind if oh, we do. Man. Steve, do you want to give me a hand? Yeah? Why don't you stick to uh, netball or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse me. Sort it out, yeah? Why? Why'd you have to open your big mouth and tell the shrink? I didn't. Well, she knew. Oh, I didn't tell her. Look, she's going to tell the gaffer. That's her job, yeah? And then everybody, like, everybody's going to know her business. I thought we agreed to keep it quiet. Don't you remember? I was prepared to let it go, you know? New start, new club. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. That's enough for today. I need to see the two of you together this time. Straight after lunch, please. Gemma tells me that you missed your appointment yesterday. Don't do it again. You're on thin ice, Monday. So I strongly suggest when I tell you to do something, you do it. Can you call Jeff for me again, please? Did I hear my name? Where the hell have you been? We've had an offer from Palmer, eight and a half million. What do you think I was doing till half two in the morning? Why wasn't I involved? You're supposed to be working with me on this. For your information, I was whining and dining the man who fixes the deals for Palmer. He likes the kind of gentleman's club a young lady like you wouldn't approve of. <sighs> so what do we do now? We go and see if the player's interested. But can I have a coffee first? I'm dying here. For your information, I'm not the tea lady. What did I say? I'm getting nowhere talking to you separately. So I thought a joint session might help. I gather there was a personal issue at Charlton. Something to do with Linton's wife? Yeah, that's right. Stevie had an affair with her. I found out. And I ate him. That's the story. Morning, Glory. Stevie, you must have a side to this. Yes, yeah, like you said. Perhaps you'd like to explain the circumstances. Look, Stevie was my friend. He betrayed me. And now, I've forgiven him. As far as I'm concerned, it's all in the past. It's just that, well, he feels a bit guilty. Isn't that right, mate? Yeah. I don't get it. He sleeps with your wife. And he's the one that's upset. Hmm. Maybe it's guilt. Look, I better go and find out if he's okay. Okay? Stevie, what's wrong? Hey, Stevie! Stevie! What's up with him? You know, Stevie, he can't resist anything in a skirt. He just can't handle it when they tell him no. Hmm. See, look. Him and Fletch, they got this bet going on, right? The first one to get Gemma into bed, well, Stevie just got a knockback. Oh, poor Stevie. Oh, no, he, he'll keep trying. Oh, when Stevie gets his teeth into something, he just keeps on trying. Hey, listen, 
What are you doing tonight? Nothing. When was the last time somebody cooked for you? Well, Gary used to sometimes. Whoa, 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 listen. You cannot be home cooking, especially when the maestro is cooking it. Well, I don't know. Maybe some other night. <laughs> okay. Well, look, if you change your mind, then you know my number, right? Okay. Yeah? yeah. All right. Hey, big man. How's it going, Jeff? Let me do all the talking and don't take notes. It's very off-putting. What if Andre isn't interested? And then it's eight and a half million out the window. We can't sell a player to a club unless he agrees to the personal terms. Don't worry, he'll agree to it. She's got no how to handle it. Jeff. Hello. Claudia. What a lovely surprise. Please, come in. Andre, have I got an offer for you? Really? Must have been very difficult for you when Patrick arrived. I should imagine you resent him a little. Although managing must have been tough, particularly after the situation with Jamie Parker. How do you find having to work with him? Monday. We need to talk about these things. I think my time is up. Hmm, Italy, you say. Lots of pretty girls. Yeah, I could be interested. Good. They need to talk as soon as. We can get you on a plane tomorrow. But then again, you could find something better, no? I can try, but you know how it is. The longer you hang around a hotel room, not playing. Hmm. I think about it. Till then, please excuse me, I uh, take a bath. You can uh, find your own way out, no? Was that it? Give him time, he'll take it. But you didn't even try to persuade him. He's persuading himself as we speak. Right now, he'll be in the bath thinking, what if it's the only offer that comes through? Tomorrow morning, he'll be begging me to take it. What if he doesn't? Trust me, let him stew. You hear everything's fine. Yeah. How the hell did you find out about me and Linton? I'll call you back later. I didn't. I bluffed. Yeah? Well, you got me in all kinds of trouble. Now he thinks I've been going off about him. You act like you're terrified of him. Why? This can't go unresolved. You know as well as I do. I'm only trying to help. But you're not helping. This is my one big chance, and you're about to blow it by interfering. Now, please, back off. Oh, hello, Carl. Hi. Um, how come she have not asked to see me yet? You're injured. You're not an immediate problem to the team. Oh, I'm a problem, all right. I've got plenty of problems. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But I'm only here for a short while, and I have more pressing issues to deal with. Well, uh... How about a drink then? You know, you could talk about your problems for a change. You know, how you're uh, lacking a good man in your life, that sort of thing. Sorry, I'm afraid I'm busy. Oh, another time maybe. Go for it. No prizes for guessing what he wanted. Are you done here? We'll go. Come, have a hot shower. Hot steak. Mm, hot. I can't. There's someone to see. Don't sulk, Pat. This is my room key. I'll be back by nine at the latest. Andre! <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. I live here. Of course, I forgot. Um, care to join me for a drink? I think my date stood me out. Then here's a madman. Mm -hmm. My usual uh, triple, please. I bet you're looking forward to getting out of this place. Ah, uh, just it bores me too much. Yeah, me too. So pedestrian, so grey. <laughs> You're lucky. I wish someone would offer me a job in Italy. Mm. I still haven't decided, you know. I'm not sure about it. God, Palm is a stunning city. You'd love it. I said like that, it sounds very attractive. But so are you, Andre. Cosmopolitan, mm -hmm. exciting, hot. Uh, have another drink with me and maybe you can persuade me, you know?
smells good. Yeah? It tastes even better. Try it. Mmm, it's lovely. Just get that. Sorry for being a moody girl. I thought we could... Oh, you're cooking? No. I am. What are you doing here? Linton off to cook for me. Get out, Linton. Leave her alone. Stevie! Look, maybe I should go. I, I, I don't want to cause any problems. No, stay. I think Stevie's the one who should be leaving. Listen, when you spend a lot of time at a psychologist, you know, talking about your problems, it can stir up a lot of stuff. Go easy on him. He's upset. The only thing he's upset about is not pulling her. That's what you're doing here, isn't it? She blew you out. You lost the bet. How did you? I'd like you to leave, Stevie. Now. I can get you on the 9am flight tomorrow if you'd like. I like. I'm sure you've made the right decision. Yeah, maybe you should write it in my diary, you know, so I don't forget. OK, where is it? In my room. All right. But I'm going to get the front desk to order a cab in 10 minutes. All right. If it isn't Monday's football, what can I get you? I was just leaving Fletcher. Oh, wait, stay. Have another drink. I'll get it. I've got a private party, I'm afraid. What, on your own? No. Nope. <sighs> Whiskey and Coke, please, mate. All right. Hello. Hang on a minute. That's not part of the deal. Look, we've done the business bit. Let's have some fun now, mate. No. No, no, no. Oh, come on, just a little. Oh. Come on, Andre, mate. Right? OK, OK, no problem, no problem. Uh, you're still on for flying to Palmer tomorrow? Yeah, I'm not an animal, you know. <sighs> Thanks, Taylor. You're my knight shining arm, right? <laughs> yeah, look, if you're OK getting home, I'll make sure he sobers up. What time's his flight? Nine. OK, I'll set his alarm. God. Thanks, Taylor. You're a pal. So, Andre, anything left in that mini bar? Bye. Mate, is there a uh, Gemma McKenzie staying here? She's got dark hair, nice little body, winning smile. I know who you mean. Oh, you do, do you? What room number is she? Yeah. Let me see if I can persuade you. I thought so. <laughs> Cheers. Room 206. Nice one, mate. We need to heat this up. What do you want? I thought you might like some company and some totally unnutritional food. I wouldn't, and I have eaten. I don't think so. Where's the kitchen? Surprised that. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing here? That's none of your business, you randy. Get out. Y yeah, sorry. Well, if you breathe a word of this to anyone, I'll break your other arm. Yeah, go for Out. Sorry. <laughs> you 
He said Palmer were offering a villa. Uh, Claudia, she tells me this, you know. I'll take it Jeff Stein specified the price bracket. What do you mean? Well, it's just in the past I've negotiated deals where the contract specified that the housing provider must be worth at least three million euros. I'm not sure. And what type of car are they offering? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Oh. She didn't say anything about the car. Well, it's a pity I didn't know you were on the market. I could have made a few phone calls. Yeah, well, I haven't definitely accepted anything yet. Yeah, but you're not my client, are you? And I wouldn't want to step on anyone's toes. But I'm, I'm sure Jeff Stein's got you the best deal he can. It's just that Jeff's contacts are a bit limited. He'll only deal with clubs... How can I put this? ...that are generous towards him as well as the players he's selling. Look, I, I think I've said a bit too much. I'm sure Palmer's going to be great. Good luck. No, no, no. Sit down, please. We maybe you should talk some more, you know? Thanks for the food. It's wonderful. Oh, no. Thanks for listening. I haven't been able to talk like that for a while. Oh, Any time, OK? Sweet dreams, yeah? Good night, yeah? Oh. <laughs> now, what do we have here? Oh, she's just a kid, Linton. She don't deserve what you do to her. Oh, you got it worse than I thought. All these years, I never expected you, Stevie Shaw, to lose his mind over a woman. I'm not. I haven't. You ain't got no quarrel with her. It's me you want to hurt. So go on. Do it. Hit me. Nah. That'd be too easy. What I've got in store for you is worse. Much worse, trust me. Good night, Steve. Sweet dreams. They still talk about you at Paris Saint-Germain? Really? You're quite a legend there, you know. What is this? Why are you here? I'm worried about you. Oh. You come around my house at night, you, you bring me food, you try and be nice to me. Now, what is it you really want, hmm? You did what? I thought you'd be pleased. You had no idea about this business. What did you say to him? Only what we talked about. I, you know, I just made Palmer seem irresistible. You know, Dad's due in tomorrow and I wanted to tell him that we sorted it. Anyway, Andre's somewhere over northern France by now. Sorry to interrupt. Andre Balanos here to see you. Why aren't you on a plane? I'd come to tell you I reconsider. I don't think Palm is the right place for me. Why not? I don't speak Italian. My wife's French. I would prefer to look at French-speaking clubs. Could you leave us, please? But... I think you've done enough damage. Sorry, darling. You tempt me, you know, but not enough. Andre. I don't know what that silly cow has said to you, but ignore it. Mm. I wouldn't have come to you with Palmer if I didn't think it was the best offer you were going to get. You mean the best offer that you are going to get? Oh, come on! No, you! Come on! Tell me this. What kind of agent exactly are you? You sent tarts out to do your dirty work, so I will go to a club that will get you more money. I'd like to reconsider. There aren't any other offers. I take my chances. How many of you lads actually nailed the shrink yet or what? Nah, couldn't be bothered, mate. You're showing all that anyway. Crashed and burned, then. No. Eh? You and all? No, no, I've got to have a fist to fry them. Trust me. I told you she is frigid. Frigid as the days of... Anyone seen Monday this morning? No. no. <coughs> <coughs> she always does that. <laughs> Jeff told me. I had it, Linda. He was all set to go. I didn't understand it. Probably spite because I wouldn't sleep with him. Well, you shouldn't have tried to flirt him into the deal then, should you? Look, Claudia, I know you're only trying to help, but you really should have just left it to Jeff. Claudia, I think you should see this. Is Jeff still here? 
Yeah, he's in the boardroom. I'm sorry I'm late. I slept right through my alarm. Slight dog. What? She must go for manager types, yeah? So go on, eh? What's she like? Jeff, look at this. Monaco. The offer's half a million short of Palmer. And they want to do the deal through this company Interplay, not through me. Don't you think it's odd? Andre says he wants a French-speaking club and then suddenly this comes in? Perhaps he's got a friend there. Who knows? Who cares? Don't we have to consider it? I don't have to consider anything. What the player doesn't know doesn't count. Palmer's still the only offer on the table. I'm not dealing with a club I don't get commission off. So keep your trap shut, OK? Now, you didn't mention my name, did you? No, no, no. I just said what we agreed, OK? Well, we'll have the offer from Monaco by now. My guess is Jeff Stein will keep pretty quiet about it. So what now? Now, you dump Jeff and Claudia in it. You go to Linda Block. You tell her you know Monaco are interested, but that Stein's sitting on their offer. And she'll ball them out, then she'll phone you. Bingo, you're off. And the deal? Is it everything you said? And more, my friend. And what about you? Tell me this. What are you getting from it? Because I want some. Look, there's a company that handles players for top clubs. I put things their way, sometimes they do the same for me, that's all. Look, Andre, I'm doing this as a favor to you, pal. Now, the offer's on the table for 24 hours, so make your mind up, quick. You okay? Last night, I, um... I'm so ashamed you should see me like that. Don't be. You had to let it out. Now you need to focus on new goals. The World Cup for one. You're not going to get your game back to where it was if you keep agonising over what might have been. I can give you some names to people you can talk to when I'm gone. No, I, I have to sort this out in my own way. Well, however you decide to do it, it's time to move on. Lay the past to rest. Be okay now. But Linton and Stevie, that's your real problem. Sorry, I couldn't crack it. Oh, it's a shame you're going back today. You should think about getting someone in permanently. I've never seen a team with so many dressing room problems. Would you consider it? Paris or Harchester. Tough choice. Yeah, baby. What was that about? His version of therapy. Goalkeepers and nutcases, Pat. We need to talk about Linton. There's things you need to know, Nick. I don't want you, but no one else can have you. Is that it? No, it's not. What are you going to do, barging like a jealous husband every time I have a guy around? No, I'm not jealous. It's, it's just Linton. You don't know what happened. Actually, I do. But I'm amazed he's so nice to after what you did. What did he say? That he had an affair with his wife. After everything you did for you, Stevie. He's lying, Nick. He was a violent, jealous git. Yeah, yeah, he said you'd say that. But it's the truth. And why should I believe you? Well, I hope you'll be very happy, Monica, one day. Au revoir. <laughs> to both of you. Pleasure doing business. 
You hid that offer from me. I was trying to get the club more money. Rubbish! You were trying to line your own pocket as usual. I could have got him to accept Palmer, you know. If that bimbo hadn't got in the way. She was on the hope, She's a liability, Linda. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if she cooked up this Monaco deal just to show me up. Don't be ridiculous. Seriously, Linda, I wouldn't put anything past her. She's infected, that's all. She'll learn. I don't know why you're bothered. She can say no. Taylor, it's, it's Claudia. Please help me. I did it. I did it. But it's all my fault. I heard them. And then I just went to pieces. I gotta breathe. Come on, it's okay now. I'm so stupid. Look, you can't control panic attacks, can you? Maybe you should have had a word with the psychologist woman. It's not that. I ruined the Palmer deal. The club's lost loads of money. And Linda will tell Dad I screwed up. Again. I can't bear it. I just can't. I can't work out why it all went wrong. <laughs> These things happen in football sometimes. <laughs> there was nothing you could have done. <laughs> there you go, babes. Fresh from the market, boiled for exactly ten minutes. Mmm, lovely. Mind you, if they had the same effect as last night, might have to sleep in separate rooms. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Why can't I be banana ice cream like my sister? What do you want? I have something for you. Hello, Tash. Open it. It is for the baby. Your baby. A traditional gift from my country. It symbolizes health, happiness, and will bless you with a large family. It's beautiful. Thanks, Monday. That, that means a lot. Coming soon on Dream Team. I told you! It's too late! Now you've got to go. I'll take every damn thing you've got here. Get in. You must be hot and sweaty after all that training. I, uh... I can't get my plaster wet. Wimp. Get out! Get out! God! God!